we'll call a meeting to order. It's the Moortown Select Board. It is Monday, July 15th. We've got a full board. Uh, we've got Sasha Katrina here as well. And we have one guest on our TV crew, um, Mike Brown. So are you here for a general public comment? Yes. All right. What do you have for us? Uh, I was here because Sherilyn asked me a while ago if I was interested in becoming a lister. And then met with the listers last week. And I'm going to try it out, at least until the end of the year, when I have to decide uh, if I want to run in the spring. So I'm here to be appointed for the interim period between now and the end of the year. What, um, tell me why you have an interest in it, or what brought you? Uh, well, I didn't really have an interest in it. <laughs> but I never thought I would have, but uh, I'm a forester, so I deal with current use a lot. And mm -hmm. I was in here talking to Sherilyn about uh, acreage discrepancy that I figured out, and she asked me if I was interested, and I went back and forth with the listers for a while, and both busy, and just met with them. So I think Sherilyn was maybe thinking I can bring some current use knowledge to it and just yeah. general, you know, I deal with acreages and changes a lot, so. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's great, and I know the listers have passed on their vote of confidence as well. Uh, I'm hoping you would, uh, you know, seek this position. Yeah, so it's nice and flight. My schedule's mm -hmm. pretty hectic and they're pretty flexible, so I think it seems like it'll work. So yeah, great. Good. That's good. Any other any questions? Uh, I'm just curious, are you a commercial forester or a state forester? Uh, so I'm a private forester. So I mm -hmm. work for myself. So I'm licensed mm -hmm. in Vermont, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. So work, I don't really work in New Hampshire much, but pretty much uh, from like Route 4 North. So here in the Wild and mm -hmm. Kingdom, Missouri, I spend most of my time. So. All right. Well, I would uh, move to appoint Mike Brown for a uh, vacant lister position. A second. On the uh, report, aye. 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 Welcome to the board. Yeah. Welcome to board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking the, uh, the opportunity to come in, and we look forward to working with you. Um, Mike and Deborah are great, and with your expertise, you know, we can only help you know elevate kind of what we do there in town. Great. Thank you very well, much. Thanks a lot, everybody. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You're welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting if you wish. Uh, yeah, I've got two small kids. So yeah. I did call Sasha this morning. I thought I'd only just stay for a couple minutes. We just wanted to confirm. This is fine. This yeah. is fine. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Well, it looks like everyone else is enjoying their evening uh, hours, mm -hmm. I guess. So let's move ahead. Um, Sir, Sasha, you got the reports communications for us? The only much? thing I have is Robin Herbick on South Hill called and actually she stopped stopped in. She's got a concern with the drain pipe by her driveway. What was it? Robin Herbick? Herbick, yep. Yeah. H-E-R-B-I-C-K. It's at 1947 South Hill. She was going to call down to the garage too. Ray, when you're meeting with them, can you... Yeah, as you know, Martin is gone. Yeah, Martin is gone this week. Um, that, 1947, you said? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And just when she said the, the culvert she was concerned about? The drain pipe? Well, that's the only thing I can think drain of is the culvert. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I'm check in with them and see what's, what's up. I think she's on the top right at the corner. That's shut. Um, Jason, you have anything for us? Yes. Um, first, we were talking about the road and bridge standards, yeah. and the question came up of, so what's the story with class four non-hydrologically connected roads? And it turns out that many of our class four roads are not hydrologically connected. Now, so that, let me just interrupt you one. Sure. We have that on the agenda, the road oh. board bridge standards. Okay. Our right. little business one. Let me save that for Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Um, let's see. I don't know when it's appropriate to bring up any of this stuff, so let me know if this is now or not. Um, there was a front porch forum item by Karen Horn regarding fiber. And I just wanted to mention that because she raises a good point, but there's also something I wanted to bring up a caution about. 
So I didn't see the um, for I didn't see the oh, oh, okay. So what you wrote is um, <clears throat> as a customer of consolidated, she is very dissatisfied with the offerings and they really have no intention as far as we know of bringing fiber to their territory in Wartem. And that is not a good thing. And she would appreciate you know, the town weighing in. And, and I don't want to speak for her, but she sure would like if some other party would bring fiber to that area. And OK, that's all well and good. Um, uh, John, you probably remember when we went and talked to Waitsville Telecom, mm -hmm. there was an issue with inviting another company into their territory because they have been making investments. So we don't want to discourage the companies that have been doing what they should by making it less um, remunerative for putting money into their territory. So I just wanted to bring up that trade-off. And there may be some way of dealing with um, trying to push that in areas where investments have not been made. Okay, help me ask, and maybe someone on still may know. How far does um, Waitsfield Cable go up the mountain? I think that I'm the last one. You're the last one. Mm -hmm. on, on that? On I'm, I'm half of it. I don't and know. And then, actually, I think just uh, Brian, Brian House actually is last. So, mm -hmm. Horns and us, from Horns and us. So, over. you don't have them either. It's all the communication, and it's awful. It's yeah. just awful. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, Chuck Burr was in here, mm -hmm. too, yeah. because right. he has consolidated. Yeah. I don't know that Comcast is any better in there. I, I, yeah, I, don't I don't think it's an option. Mm -hmm. I think that consolidates is the only option, isn't it? No, no, no. no. Okay. There are three companies covering different areas of Morgan. And no oh, it's been in a different place. Yeah. I have no complaints about Comcast. Yep, they do okay. Mm -hmm. what, what do they provide for you? Okay, I'm glad because I've heard. Yeah, uh, good. TV and internet service. I forgot what but they're mm -hmm. whatever. Do you, have, do you have fiber or do you know what maximum bandwidth you get? Uh, I can't tell you. Okay. I know that we spend a lot of time both cooking and I on the computer at the same time and we never have any problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's, well, that's, that's, good, that's good to know, at least on yeah. the end that has that, mm -hmm. but consolidated, so yeah. like it, it's yeah. an issue. So, so the question is, and I'm just raising it something to keep in mind, how to help the folks on consolidated without messing up the business model for the companies right. that are doing well for us. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe that's where, um, you know, it might do us even to talk with Lake Steel and see if they mm -hmm. have any uh, ambitions or thoughts of going anywhere else in town. Mm -hmm. um, Makes sense. Yeah, you know, I, I would start there. Um, and yeah. then, I'm not sure if they were allowed to, but they would know. Right, they would know, and if they're not allowed to, why not? And, mm -hmm. You know, let's figure out, because uh, mm -hmm. if we can't, I mean, I think, so again, and you start pushing one, someone else sees it, and if they may not want these guys coming in, it's all of a sudden consolidated. Might yes. say, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's throw in fire there. Mm -hmm. So why don't we? Um, we should invite maybe Waitsfield Cable or, or um, you know Waitsfield Cable in one. I think just to thank them for what they've done. I mean, I think again, it's their mm -hmm. business, and they're gonna, they're making money, obviously, but they've. It provided fiber for right. you know 450 homes in, in right. more town they have it in any of the other areas right. um so you know, i mean it would be good to have them in here for a few minutes good yeah. mm -hmm. uh, thank them for that but also ask them if we can work with them going other places in town mm -hmm. yeah. i know last year when you guys wanted them to come in they said thanks but no thanks you can come see us right <laughs> and we did yeah right yeah. Yeah. Just so you know, I don't know if they'll come to a meeting. Well, they may or may not. Yeah. But, um, you know, if we don't reach out, and if they don't want to, well, then mm -hmm. maybe we reach out to other people okay. too. Right. Um, so, Sasha, we can talk about that and figure out what, uh, who to send it to. Uh, but let's do that, and, and then we'll you know, plan on it in the next couple of months, try to have someone in here from Whitesfield Cable just to. Uh, mm -hmm. 
you know, find out how to do that. Yeah. Now, what about the, uh, the, the truck was pushing? Yeah, you know, I got another um, mm -hmm. email actually from is it Jeremy. Is that who it was pushing out from Northfield? Mm -hmm. huh? Karen Horn's post was referenced that. Yeah, that's what Karen yeah. 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 Well, What was the name of the C C C Central, Central Vermont? Vermont? Something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in the last week and a half, but, yeah. I just reconnected mm -hmm. with him anyways. I wanted to bring that up. We haven't actually talked about this yet. Not to anyone's post or anything, but we have already in the last week and a half connected <laughs> with Jerry. I can give you the last name mm here. -hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Hansen. Hansen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if they're able to do anything for us, we'd like to know too. The, the, the issue there is not breaking other things that are working for us. Right, right. Um, Say, so yeah, they, they reached out and was mm -hmm. looking. So yeah, um, we can probably get that together as well. Okay. Um, so, Anything else, Jason? Um, when would you like to hear about what happened at the last Lions Committee meeting? Right now is a good time. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I forgot the copy of the minutes and left them in the printer. So <laughs> John and I, I think, will be able to figure out what we said. But one of the items we wanted to tell the select board is um, our next task is taking a look at our longer term capital needs and taking a look at what that means for the town's cash flow over the next several years. And as a result, what we should do to support those needs. So that means that we're going to start off by taking a closer look at the stuff that I do in kind of a rush for the capital, for the capital report and the town report. And if you've ever taken a look at that, you may have noticed that the out years look kind of scary. There's some large needs that we'll have to deal with at some point. And then the question becomes, do we want to try to even out the town's cash flow over that time frame? And that in turn enters into the tax rate discussion that will probably not this year because we haven't done the homework in time to make any changes to the tax rate that we're sending now. But next time, do we want to talk in terms of a sustainable, fairly consistent tax rate that deals with our out year needs? And that would be a long overdue mm -hmm. to do that. So that was one of the items. I think yeah. that there was another one. I'm trying to remember what it was. No, that certainly was the, the biggest. Mm -hmm. um, we also discussed putting it on the ballot to um, pay our sales back interest on our. Oh, that's what the two yes, percent. but not, not interest. Right. Not interest, right? Right. But uh, two, yeah, two that, that was it. Yeah. Thank you. You're Just two percent on. Um, any on we well, pay. specifically, we um, paid out money for the truck. And we definitely stated that we were going to pay back the capital reserve. Sorry, um, no? Savings reserve. Savings reserve. So we stated that we definitely intend to pay that back over three years. We didn't say anything about an additional 2%, which would still be a savings to the general fund. Okay. So that way we retain the use of the savings reserve fund in the future by keeping it replenished. So that was the finance review committee's recommendation on that. So we're just passing that on to the select board. All right, on that, why don't you, when you bring the, the minutes, we'll talk about that again. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably a, a good idea to charge the 2%. It, it was the 2% on the capital reserve fund. I thought we said with the truck. Wasn't it the capital reserve fund paying our not on the savings? Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I knew I was mixing that up. Putting the 2% into the capital reserve. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
Right. It was the one we used for the truck, which is the capital. Right. Right. Yes. We're all seven the same. Right. What else I got to say? I think that was it. Ray, do you have any ports communications? Uh, well, I did meet with Steve McGill. We talked about the curb cut. Yeah. He wanted to make it clear that he never really intended to ask the board to move the curb cut. He was more uh, concerned about the process of not being notified when that was happening. And plus the curb cut application, for some reason, had one mile from the road, which it's only four tenths of a mile. From the intersection of Dunford Road, but basically, uh, uh, he wanted to. You know, he's not angry. He's not angry at his neighbors. He wants to be a good neighbor. Uh, the uh, Japanese, what is it, ragweed, whatever it is, not weed. Yeah. Not weed. Yeah. Uh, I think he did talk to Sean a little bit about that. There, there was a little bit. He sprayed it. Uh, I, I think things are good up there. I mean. Mm -hmm. As, as good as he will get, I guess. Well, I, thanks for uh, chatting with him anyway. Making, finding out what's going on. Did you have a chance to find out if anyone working for the town is certified to deal with that? I did, I did not. Uh, yeah, with a small amount. I mean, I know you could buy this stuff right. out of the store, so mm -hmm. uh, I was not able to catch up with the Martin about anything. Anything else, Ray? That's it. Tell me. Got nothing. Got nothing. Tell me. Uh, there's a quite a large pothole on uh, Pony Farm, just as you go up up the hill. Bad enough that people are going around it, and you know, that is kind of a blind mm -hmm. spot in places. Uh, so on the it's coming just to after, yeah after after it goes to dirt and pavement to dirt. <coughs> Right. Is it in the cave or? No, it's in the dirt. Yeah, it's in the gravel <clears throat> So if we go try to tackle that ray with someone down at the gorge, maybe yeah, we can get that Yeah, I don't remember to call somebody in the morning. Please leave the answer. We would never get that same problem there when it's in the cave. Anything else, John? No, that's it. All right, I feel like my week. Shirley, did you have anything for general public comment at all, or are you just here for the tax rate and such? Tax rate. All right. Um, why don't we go ahead and approve the minutes for July 1st? Anyone have any changes? Uh, Sasha, nice job on those. Thank you, John, for making sure that was sent out. 
it is nice to see that the town uh, tax rate is really right up dead on to where we were last year. Yeah, it is. Um, the difference mm -hmm. is the school went up about five cents. Yep. A um, couple of observations on that. Um, first is the grant list is up 4%. Mm -hmm. And the base budget request is up 7.5%. Right. So show you what the grant list can do. Yeah. And to, uh, to our listers and everyone that's keeping that stuff up to date in the group that's doing it, that's what really helps that grant list. And I think it's well worth the money that we've spent to keep that uh, in the hands of who is it in right now at this point. I agree. And certainly with the Lester, Lester's working on it. Um, yeah. one, one thing I just wanted to ask everyone, and particularly Charlotte, is there anything we're not thinking of to include in the rate because we've gotten a bit once on that? I um, asked Cheryl the same thing and I kept thinking anything <laughs> coming out and I couldn't find anything and I, neither could she. I don't see anything, right? No, I... I, I, I just appreciate that everyone staying a double look to see our yeah. 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 that's what we not do. And the grant and aid, I just wanted to point out that that's money that's still owed to us for the mountain road and the common road. And that's supposed to be in this year. I talked to Dan Courier about it. It's in the process right now. Mm -hmm. So because we, yeah. um, we talked about the adding interest to the the money that we borrow through the capital reserve, is that in here anywhere or is that something we should think about putting in here? No. That's what they're working on for next year. That's what, the, oh, that's what Jason was talking about. That would be included in next year's okay. mm -hmm. tax rate mm -hmm. if approved by the Yeah, for one thing, we don't have any authority. Right. Yeah. So that waits for the 2020 budget. Never stop this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean education. <laughs> you just don't know how much to take or what to do. I think is what they said. Plus, we don't mm -hmm. can't leave. Yeah. Yeah. No, for the for the two percent, we do know how much that is, but we don't have to do it yet. I mean, it's at least difficult to do it now. Yeah, as a matter of fact, for the. You know, once again, the town administrator <clears throat> and select board assistant, you know, that has gone from 50 hours down to nine, so I mean, um, so this, you know, we have quite a bit of money there, but Charlotte said that it would be just as well because we may be overspending a couple of wine yeah. in other areas. So. In, the, in the revenue here, too, mm -hmm. this is based on right now as far as the clerk of Town Hall and zoning. This this is all going to go up too. You know, this is just based on the right mass figures. Mm -hmm. Is um, posting the tax maps going to have any impact on the revenue number? Is no, and though no. and what we thought was going to happen with that mm -hmm. isn't going to happen to the extremes anyway. Okay, but they are posted on there right now. Mm -hmm. Your your rates are changing. Anyways. They just changed. Okay. Um, yeah, so the per page of ten dollars. Went to fifteen dollars, but instead of one dollar going into the preservation fund, four dollars goes into it. But it's still increased mm -hmm. by two dollars for the clerk's fees, so we're still going to be ahead of the game. Can we just take a quick review of the particular line items that were over? I mean, do we have to add anything for any of those? We don't think so. But it looks just yeah, we can. We did add. We did put mm -hmm. all that in there. And John and I kind of went over this the other day when we came in too. I asked them to come mm -hmm. down just to put mm -hmm. things in. Uh, building maintenance on the town office is over mm -hmm. by $1,200. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was the sign. Right. Uh, painting the town hall is the uh, Yeah, okay, there too. The town hall, the, the painting is over by over by four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. The library is over by thirty dollars on printing and advertising. 
we're really not finding a whole big mm -hmm. increase. So on a million dollar budget right. overall, mm -hmm. worth two thousand yeah. dollars. Right. So yeah. I think we're doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, we've been a little over on the general town expenses by four hundred four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So I guess my question is, do we want to add the $4,000 for the town hall to the tax rates and we're not impacting our other lines, or mm -hmm. we're definitely good? I think the court season will cover that, because truthfully, I usually bring in like over $20,000, but we have it only at $12,000, so. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. And we're, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions on the tax rate? Yeah, that's very good. Callie, how are you? Um, you are. Understand it? Sure, I that you oh, yeah. let me, let me, let me, I don't know if I want to discuss this item open, so I'm just going to pass it out to Tom. Is that allowed? Sure. Uh, uh, as long as I can read. Um, the bin rolls on that. Yeah, we'll wait on that. Yeah, but it's for the tax rate. That's the only reason. No, because we got enough that's yeah. in there that we okay. don't allow that uh, mm -hmm. discretionary that we put in there. Okay. Like, we're not going to move on with that. Mm -hmm. But that's a good question, Jason. Thanks. <laughs> um, if there are no other questions, I move to accept, accept the tax rate of. Uh, 0.439 cents um, as our municipal tax rate. Second. Any further discussion on that? All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you. Good job. Good job. Yeah, good, good job, ladies. Go <laughs> <laughs> um, before you move on to the next one, I know that. The, I'm sorry, the, the finalizing the road and bridge standard that's coming up. I just mm -hmm. wanted to mm -hmm. make a note on that, unless you need me to stay for something else. No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, Sasha is, has, did you, did you bring that? Yep. Okay. Um, the state of Vermont is asking us to accept their codes and standards. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to point out um, whether you go yay or nay, whichever way, that um, I did reach out to Dan Courier and asked him right. what our repercussions would be. That's an email that we have. Yes, yeah. that's the email. Yeah. And I just wanted to mm -hmm. point out that that email is in there so that when you go to make up your mind, because it's in the budget, in setting the tax rate, this grant and aid is like one of them that we do. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted um, to point that out. We were not considering not agreeing to the, the specific stuff on that list. Mm -hmm. We were still discussing some of the other items that the state would not withhold anything from us. Hey, you know, we can, we're ready to hold business right now. Oh. So we can go ahead and okay. we, uh, here, here discuss we, that. Here, here we go. Here's what I think. In the, one of the categories that the state doesn't make us to do, and there are no repercussions that I'm aware of for not doing, is Class four roads are divided into the hydrologically connected and non-hydrologically connected. And Moortown is so wet that at first we thought there was a good chance that almost everything was hydrologically connected. So I checked into that and in fact it's not the case. So if you take a look, I'm sorry about how close the colors are, but I can't choose that. The purple is the hydrologically connected. And the stuff, I don't know, clarify, Jason, this is yes. this is your purple yes. And the rest, the ones that are not colored that are not. So we have quite a few roads that are not connected, and therefore we can meet state standards by excluding those from the road and bridge standards. What would be the point of that? It will cost us less money. How much? Don't know, but it would be a good, good section of the road that we would not have to meet standards on. The purple, the, the, the purple is connected, so the non-purple class fours, so you have to match that with the map up on the wall. 
But I don't see any reason to extend the standards to the non hydrological connected class four roads. If anyone can think of a reason that we should, let me know. I can't. Does anybody know if, 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 if there's damage on a road from a storm that's, we say, non hydrologically connected? Is there a difference in what we would get reimbursed for if it, if it was? It looked like we couldn't get a straight answer from anybody on that one. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like if, if you've got um, a maintenance plan for structural damage, yeah. um, then, and I think we I think do. Yeah. Yeah. Our, we have a general maintenance yeah. for class four roads. That, that's so different. As long as you have, right, as long as you have that, as far as I know, it sounds like FEMA would um, pay for that. Is not how I everybody would. else read it? <clears throat> that's kind of what I got out of it mm -hmm. as well, but. Yeah, I'm but not you know, AOT was saying, but we can't speak for FEMA, so right. Right. You know, it is what right. it is. Right. So I, one thing is that, quite frankly, none of those roads are up to the standard that they're supposed to be. I mean, yeah. we can all yep. look each other in the eye and say that. Mm -hmm. um, we have our own, I guess we've adopted the state standards on them all, but then you, you talk to Martin Moore. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah we, have a, we have a policy for you know what class four a class four b whatever so I'm not sure how that fits in with the standards per se i it, it, i i don't know it, it seems like to me i don't know what the price difference is but if you're going to do that half the road this way you know why not just have them all one standard but you know i guess i don't know the exact the price of doing that and whether you know whether that is i mean the way i look at this is if i'm looking at this right this is the this is the road that we built rebuilt last year the lynch hill i believe is right there mm -hmm. right so that's not according to your map not hydraulically affected but you know we put and you know it's a pretty steep hill we put a lot of money in that hill and that's probably the highest standard class four road you have mm -hmm. So I well, think that's, that's I think wouldn't you say it's hydrologically connected? <laughs> I wouldn't say that that is. I would very yeah. much say that there is a lot of water down, yeah. that road down, yeah. down that hill. So yeah, but we're only obligated on the ones that A and R says are. Not that yeah, we so, think. So, so how did they come up with this little piece of road there? I mean, who the really <laughs> wants me? That's like on a level piece of land. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I, I don't know. Yeah, so if we ever want to maintain a piece of road to a standard higher than what we have agreed to, nothing stops us. I just don't want to commit to anything unnecessarily. I, I understand what you're saying, Jason, but I also I don't want to be caught in that some kind of a you know, with the state and them saying, well, this is non -hydro hydrologically connected and this is and what the standard is. And I'm not sure if we're doing anything more or less to either of those roads at this point, as far as what standard we're using. Um, I think, and I think this is what Ray said, I'd be, I think we're better off being. Um, I think signing on to the um, to both. Oh, you, I mean, oh, yeah. John, I mean, you've been reading it, and you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I think that um, I think we should just include the poem. 
Well, and the thing we commit to can cost us money in the future. That's the only point here. Well, this comes up on a yearly basis that we do this. Um, Here, the town has its own codes and standards. They want us to adopt the state codes and standards. So that, this is, <coughs> excuse me, I think this is new. Mm -hmm. This is new. Mm -hmm. And this, this is something that, if you were to ask the OCT, is expected to cost towns money. And we need to have this yeah. by uh, the first, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is still going to cost us money just agreeing to what they want us to agree to, but we're certainly going to do that. I'm just saying don't extend it beyond what they're asking us to agree to. So uh, I was just guessing here and mm -hmm. say, 50% of the roads are... That's roughly what it looks like. 50%. So the only savings, or the only difference is for that last 16, if there's 32 miles of class four roads, mm -hmm. 16 miles. Yes. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't like spending more money than we have to, but I can't imagine that that 16 miles is going to be that much of a, of a problem if we just did it all at one standard. I mean, there may, be, there may be some benefit to bringing it up to that standard as well. In the event of a disaster, yes. It makes a right. 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 story about it. That's right. But what, what I don't know is how much agreeing to this costs us overall. You know, we've heard cautions that it will cost a lot, but I have no idea what it was. It could cost us, it could save us. Yeah. It's like if we lose our grant names, right. that's a lot of money, mm -hmm. too, but it's like, I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, there, there's no question in my mind about agreeing to the stuff that gets us our grants. Right. Done deal. Yeah. It's just, you, you get it. Mm -hmm. And that's the gray area. Where's the gray area here for? Right. Hey, well, it's not gray. It's a class four non hydrologically connected. It's not a I'm not sure if it's. According to that, and it's according to English map. Right, and clear on this. I mean, how do you say, all right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this is just a printout on the short. Yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere, somebody must have came up with these points mm -hmm. somehow. Well, Lynch Hill was how many, how long of Lynch Hill did they do? How many miles? Or a mile? Uh, it's probably a mile. And it was about ten thousand dollars. Right. So they're sure. I mean, to make it pass the standards of hydrologically connected roads, that was the grant last year, right? Yeah. To fix what you don't have to do, though. Say so, yeah. again. Yeah. It depends on what they have to do, though. Yeah. Right. Okay. So our upper limit on that, <clears throat> every mile costs the same as Lynch Hill, which is unlikely. The sixteen miles would cost us one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Right. But we all, as we yeah, that's not all. Tom alluded to it, this, mm -hmm. this whole road here <laughs> is not as in good a shape as that road right there. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I think windshields are worse than this area. Oh, yeah, I think so. It's just unfortunately, most of our 32 miles requires a lot to get to that level. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean that's a problem. I mean, we're not even talking about class three yet. Yeah. <laughs> class four. Crap. But that we don't have a choice of that, so. All right, guys, what do you want to do, please? Yeah, so I'm, I'm just looking at this. Yeah, I'll get that, that's right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, that is, this almost looks like that's uh, mm -hmm. Hill. Oh, it's our side. Side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just want to see if this is. Is that one? Is so this a, that's our class three road. That road is class three road, I believe. And we know that at least this much of this road is class three road. Because uh, there's, you know, this is Heron Brook. And it's all right there in class three, so. Mm -hmm. This is the only road. It's coming down this class, 
I mean, we know that's glass. Mm -hmm. um, so looking at this, this does not look like an annual thing to me. This looks like a once and done thing. So this isn't a redo next year. I guess I suppose we could withdraw it. Um, you know, what do you think? Um, you think Dan Courier? I mean, he orders this email. Do you think? Do we need to speak to someone else on this? Do you think? Because my idea yeah. would be, um, we have another couple of Mondays is on the 29th, Monday the 29th. People get together for an hour. Um, because also in that same time, I wanted to have the um, the road crew. Yeah, in yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then between now and then, if he doesn't come in, we can get just more clarification mm -hmm. on this so that we're not making an ill decision here. Right. Um, we brought to everyone. Jason, thank you for some good questions. Ray, yeah, yeah, um, right. let's try to figure this out, either have someone come in or try to delve into this a little bit okay. more. Let's just, uh, this is the deadline. Well, the deadline's the first, yeah, right? Deadline. First of all, we for the 29th, Monday the 29th. Mm -hmm. This whole thing has come up with the Clean Water Advisory Committee, too, in that pretty much we agreed that just about every road is hydrologically connected. And, you know, especially in more towns. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I really don't know how accurate this map is. Um, I, don't either. I, I think that it is probably not accurate, but I think it's how it's defined, so that's what we'd be committing to, yeah. regardless of whether it's accurate or not. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I think having the end of that would mm -hmm. be very really helpful. Yeah, just come in for and yeah, mm -hmm. ask face to face. I think it would clarify a lot of questions. I'm sure. Jason, you might have to keep this map here. Take that, I just want to look at that. So, mm -hmm. all right, um, so we've got the tax rates. Now we have employee wages to discuss. And I think I'd like to do that um, in the executive session. So. So would you like to buy a week? I would. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. Before I do, are you going to have Sasha or myself contact Dan Courier for the 29th? Either one of you, too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'd like to uh, have him come early so we can get that up at 6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just as a backup, in case Dan Courier can't make it, um, how do you feel about just talking to him on the phone sometime? Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. A conference call or something like that, or, or if there's anyone else, or mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll make you know I mean? yeah, make, yeah. I'll make the motion that uh, we go into executive session for the purpose of the appointment or appointment or evaluation of a public office or employees provided to the public body to make a final decision to hire or appoint a public office or employee in an open meeting. So explain the reasons for its final decision during the opening. 